Fuck me, I need to strongly reconsider how much liquid I drink in the morning if I'm doing an hour long drive to Bath every morning because my God, oh Jesus, I thought I was going to explode then. I literally just ran <laughs> to the closest building with a toilet in. Oh, oh. Oh, grief. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Today has been an eventful, stressful morning. Um, I woke up at normal time at six o'clock um, and I was like, I got, well, at normal time, at normal university commute time, six o'clock, and got ready. I didn't leave until five past seven, though. Um, but it still took me an hour to get here. Uh, that was that way. I may try next time going through Bath City Centre, which I know sounds crazy, but it is a lot shorter than the way I just went. And I did hit traffic on that way. So I'm thinking I might try the Bath City Centre to see if that's a little bit shorter next time. And then if it still takes me an hour, I may try the motorway way um, next time, the time after that. Um, because I was expecting it to take me closer to half an hour slash 45 minutes than the hour it did. So, um, but anyway, traffic wasn't too bad. What was bad this morning, woke up to emails <laughs> saying I should probably remove a video that I put up live the other day, the CV one, I think it was yesterday's, no it wasn't yesterday's video was it? Um, the video before that was, uh, <laughs> I said, oh I don't really want to, oh I just accidentally showed you all my address, all, and then um, edited it out and put, oh god, it wasn't, it wasn't clever. So I um, said in a video clip, oh I've just edited out a video clip because I accidentally showed you my address and phone numbers and email address and etc. Um, and then what I did was while I was talking about all of my um, <laughs> CV and stuff, I scrolled up and showed quite clearly uh, my address and da 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 da. When I film my screens, like from a distance, like from here, say, and the screens are over there, I don't expect you to be able to read everything. And it turns out you can read everything quite clearly. So uh, I took the video down, edited a bit out, and re uploaded it. So it's now, should be on its way, it should be live by now. Um, Oh god, so that was stressful. Got up this morning though, um, Laura's still in bed. It's Laura's birthday, bless her. Happy birthday, Laura. Um, I apologise for waking you up early. Um, obviously it's quite difficult to get ready in the morning because I've got to like, get up, have breakfast and all that kind of stuff while Laura's in bed. I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> um, and obviously it's the first time I come here, so like, it's the first time I've got to deal with, like, get my bag ready and all that kind of stuff. Um, as soon as you do it every day, you get better and better at waking up in the morning, don't you? So, um, Otherwise though, paid for parking, ran and got a thingy. I need to change out of my old shoes. Um, these are my driving shoes, they're much more comfortable. And I need to go and sort out two different things. I need to go sort out a sports pass, and I need to organize a fucking parking permit because my Lord is parking expensive on this campus. So I've been here, obviously I got here at about eight o'clock. Um, so guess how much it's cost me to park until two o'clock? Six pounds. If I'm here all day, it's going to cost me 12 quid in parking alone. Fuck me. A parking permit? I thought the, the parking's not going to be too expensive because the parking permit is quite cheap. No. <laughs> Jesus. Like, literally, if I did today 10 times, that's the price of the parking permit. That's crazy. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and try and organise that as soon as possible because I can't afford to drive to... It's annoying because I haven't moved into my new flat yet. So I've got to try and organise it, essentially with an address that I've only just like signed the contract for and I haven't moved to. Because it's awkward because they'll be like, oh yeah, but how do we know you're still in Bristol? Because the last thing I have was like a, an electricity bill from a while ago. You know what I mean? Like you could have just lived in Bristol for a year then come back because I'm after my placement. But I've got an address to prove that I will be in Bristol for the next year. So it should be okay. Right, let's get a sports pass. Freshers week, so places like this should be quiet, although there is people in the gym. A sports pass sorted means that I can come here early now and go swim in or play tennis if I want to for free, which is good um, if I have time for that shit. To be fair, I basically have like three half days a Wednesday, which you never go sports on Wednesday, and then uh, Thursday, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, it should be a case of, um, John. I'll be able to, John. Um, like I obviously can go, because I can, A, lectures don't even start till nine, so I could even have an hour now, but um, I'm trying to do as much as possible at university. Like, work as much here means that I don't have to go home and work with Laura there, so I can just kind of chill with Laura more. Obviously, that's an idealistic world. It's a world that isn't going to happen. I'm going to have to go back and do some work, but I'm hoping I can do the vast majority here. Right, okay. So now the most important bit. 
Um, God, this place is just a building site and then like a load of marquees for freshers and stuff. It's freshers week this week. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, I now need to go sort out my parking permit, which is going to cost me about 130 quid. It's also going to save me a fuck ton. I'll do that until 9 o'clock at the Ball Lake. Because I've got things at 9. But it starts properly at quarter past. There's no other gaps in the day though. And I need to get it sorted before 2 o'clock when, when it means I have to buy another one. I might have to go at lunch. Hmm. I'm just going to try and wait for Lewis to get here so we can kind of prepare before we do it. And that's it for the day ladies and gentlemen. I'm now heading on home. Um, to be honest with you, today I was giving it more credit. To give it more credit, like it wasn't as boring as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like horrendously boring. Um, like having to sit through like 30 plus presentations from other people's companies. Like essentially that doesn't, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like unless someone went to a company that I was like, oh that sounds good, I might try and work there. Like that's the only possible gain from it. And that's 90% not the case because most of them are big companies that I don't like. <laughs> like big, great big corporate banks and things like that, which aren't interesting to me um, at all. Um, but we sat through however many, did my presentation, went well. Um, and now I'm heading on home. There is one more event after this at five o'clock. Uh, it's half past four now, I'm driving, which is why I'm gonna hit traffic, which is why I don't mind vlogging, because <laughs> I'm basically just crawling about here. Um, if I end up picking up speed, I'll have to stop vlogging like. Um, I'm heading back at quarter quarter to four. Uh, sorry, quarter past four I probably left. Um, and I'm doing so because it's Laura's birthday today. I feel bad for her. And this literally, the, the networking event, is basically a small careers fair, which isn't worthwhile to me at all. Um, so, I mean, like, it was just being advertised like, oh, well, last year they we took people and they got a career from a job offer from that networking event. I'm like, I'm sure that's true. But like, I looked at the list of companies and was like, <laughs> you know, like none of them are companies that I necessarily want to go to. So I thought, nah, I'm gonna try and head back home. Laura doesn't know I'm on my way. I'm gonna try and surprise her early. Cause literally like, while leaving now does mean I am in rush hour and I'm aware of that. And I know that it's gonna take me longer to drive back than it did this morning and stuff like that. Although in theory, in theory, I should be going against the traffic because most people would commute to Bath, uh, uh, to Bristol to work, not the other way around, which is what I'm doing, Bristol to Bath. Um, I think, I don't know. That is all like in theory in my head. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head back and probably not gonna get back till about half past five, if not a little bit later, but that's much better than like eight o'clock at night. Um, and it means I should be able to surprise Laura and be like, hey, girl, it's your birthday. Who birthday is it? It's your birthday. So, like, I don't think I'll have dinner with her. I think she's got, she's got salmon for dinner, I think. Um, I'll have my sandwiches still, which I haven't eaten yet. But, yeah, I just want, like, the event had next to nothing for me. It was, it would have been a waste of time. Just like, to be honest with you, the entire day was, but that's a bit out of the way. Um, okay. Bounce. Half the battle with this commuting thing. I mean, like, obviously, I'm aware of the fact that I'm trying to avoid traffic as much as possible. I've realised that I'm being a little bit optimistic with how much traffic there will be at seven o'clock in the morning. But as a general proviso, I reckon I'm trying to dodge as much as I can. Um, I'm just letting this guy go, and it's now awkward that I'm vlogging. No problem, my friend. Um, so, uh, like, in the morning. I'm, there's not much I can do, essentially, about the traffic. I mean, like, you can pick, obviously, different ways, but then you're in, like, a... Like, at the moment, I could have gone... Google was suggesting that I drive through the city centre of Bath and up and out over the motorways and then down, like, across the M4, down the M32, then home. Um, which is all very well and good, I thought, but then I thought, this way... I wanted to try this way. This is the way I came in. This way is, like, out of the way, so it's out off of the main roads obviously as soon as you get to Bristol there is more or less like only one or two three roads in and out of Bristol so I will end up in that kind of traffic but the problem with this road is that like little things like this junction and people struggling to turn right off of this junction holds everything up which you don't get that on bigger roads do you so I don't know man 
It'll be a lot of experimenting, but normally I won't be leaving at this time. In theory, I'll be leaving like one o'clock, which means I should be able to avoid all this shit, you know? I'm going to make an effort to listen to the radio while I drive instead of listening to my iPod, because my iPod gets very boring. Um, trying to get used to Simon Mayo. I, I like Chris Evans in the morning. Let's try and get used to Simon Mayo. Um, about to, well, I'm in Bristol now. I'm not far away, assuming there's no traffic. This bit is very trafficy though. Um, it's actually, I haven't really done too bad at all. It's only like, I should get back for about 20 past, 25 past. I believe I'm going to beat Laura back. And let me talk to you again when I'm back in, like, at a standstill. Because she did leave quite late from work. So, I think, I think I'll definitely beat her back to the house. Definitely. The question is, do I, it's, I can't drive to a Sainsbury's, but do I go to Gloucester Road and try and pick up, like, a, a birthday cake or something? We're supposed to be having, like, her birthday like meal and cake and wine and stuff on Friday but can I do it what do you think well the question is if she sees my car that's the problem so should I try and ditch my car somewhere else and then hmm it's out on the motorway there's been a fucking fuel truck spill it's fuel everywhere or some shit uh so it's a good job I didn't go the motorway <laughs> Woo, we made a good call um Okay, we should. I'm gonna try and hide my car and try and pick up a cake or something. Like, any time before fucking eight o'clock at night is a surprise. So since I'm back early, I'm not gonna be having dinner with her anyway. I may as well try and have a, um, you know what I mean? Like, bring her a cake or something. Just something small, and then we can have a proper cake on Friday. To be like, it's, it's her birthday. I feel really sorry for her. She's got like a little meal for one. She might get a takeaway if I'm back, to be fair. We'll, we'll find out, won't we? Then, isn't it? Come on. Bloody Make shops closed, innit? God damn. Half the battle here, literally like only the supermarkets are gonna be open after five. Ugh. Okay then, cake in hand, practicing my voice. Probably gonna press the intercom and say like there's a delivery, so I'll be like, on delivery. <laughs> delivery for uh thingy, and then what? Or oh, package. I got a package for <laughs> is that my accent? Is that, is that Scottish? I've got a package. Does it sound like me? That's the question. Because it can't sound like me. I've got a package and I need you to sign for it. No, it sounds like me, doesn't it? God. Ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't be surprised if today's video ended here. Um, obviously it's Laura's birthday. I think we've got Bake Off to watch tonight. She's got a load of presents to, but I've never had so much post. I swear to God. She's got a lot of presents to open and stuff. So it's Laura's night tonight, not Jamie's vlog night. So I'm assuming the video will end now, but I may talk to you. I'll put a little like my normal like finishing my video kind of thing if anything interesting happens. If not, we probably just sat around watching TV, eating cake, watching Bake Off, living the dream really.